So I recorded the first half of this video yesterday and I showed my best attempt at lifting this tote. I was only able to get it about 8 inches off the ground. At first I could only get it about an inch off the ground after I drove it around a little bit and then just kept working the lever up and curl, up and curl. I finally got it about 8 inches off the ground. That's a long shot from being able to set it into the tailgate of my truck. So. Um, in my last video, I mentioned that I have three ideas for how I can increase that lift capacity. The first plan is with this new loader that I just got put on by the dealer. It's the mechanical self-leveling loader. It increases your lift capacity. But this video is not about that loader. I want to use it for at least a week before I make a full video about the loader. The second thing I mentioned that could help me lift these totes is to lighten my pallet forks. The pallet forks and the pallet fork frame that are currently on the tractor weigh about 130 pounds more than the configuration I'm going to switch to. I've got the Artillion pallet fork frame over here. The only reason I didn't have it on previously was for comparison. Um, so now I'm going to switch to that and I'm going to switch to these lighter forks that just came in today. So the forks that are on there right now are a 48 inch, then I've also got a 42 inch, and these are a 36 inch. These just delivered today from Artillion along with this box. I'm really excited about what's in this box, but that's not today's video. We're going to save that for later in the week. But right now, I'm going to see if those first two options will give me the ability to set this tote into my truck bed. If they won't, I'm going to check the hydraulic flow on the tractor and find out if it's in the recommended range that the manufacturer suggests. So I went to Ken's bolt-on hooks, I ordered a gauge and all the fittings I need and they make it pretty easy. They've got kind of a kit for you based on the model of your tractor. And if what I do today doesn't work, I'm going to try increasing my hydraulic pressure. Even if that does work, I'm still going to make a video about how to check and adjust the hydraulic pressure on one of these compact tractors. You know, it's interesting that in the comments of my last video where I was talking about not being able to lift this, some people were saying that there was a problem with the tractor, it should be able to lift this. Other people were saying that I was being reckless by trying to lift it and all I was going to do is break my front axles. So I don't really think that that is a concern that I'm overloading the tractor. I'm always going to take my tractor up to its capabilities if I need it. But the reason I don't see it that way is number one, this is making the load lighter, not trying to make it lift more necessarily. Um, I'm shaving that 130 pounds off of the weight that's already on the front of the tractor so that I can have more on the forks. And the self-leveling loader is put on by the manufacturer and it's going to be kind of a standard option at this point. So that's not overloading the tractor either. Now if I said that I was going to 
drastically exceed the manufacturer's recommendation on the hydraulic pressure, that might be kind of reckless. But I don't think anything that I'm doing today is uh, all that risky, really. So rather than make both of these changes at once, I'm going to separate them and see what difference it makes only having the other loader. Then if that doesn't work, then I'll put on the lighter forks. And hopefully that works and we'll go from there. dramatically increased the lift capacity of the tractor but I still wasn't able to set it onto the truck bed so let's switch to the artillion setup and see if that gets us over the edge and we're able to set this toad in moment of truth we'll see if the artillion forks and the new loader will make the difference and help me lift this into the truck bed Well, I'm really glad that I was now able to set this full tote of wood into the truck bed. Um, in my previous video, I measured out and showed that you can fit a full rick into one of these totes. This wood is not fully seasoned, so it's going to be a little bit heavy, and I was still able to do it. So I should be able to lift a full tote of firewood, regardless if it's green or seasoned or what kind of wood it is. So that helps me be more productive, which makes me a happy guy. Now, a couple of things I talked about in this video that need their own video. One is the self-leveling loader. I think I'm really going to be happy with that loader, but I can't say that after a few hours and a couple of lifts. I'm going to kind of put it through its paces, use it for different purposes with the grapple, put some rock in the bucket, move our plywood, and just kind of test it out and then I'll do a full video on the loader. I'm also going to do a full video on the hydraulic pressure 
how to measure it and how to adjust it on these tractors. But I appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. In just a minute, you'll see links to a couple more of our videos come on the screen right here, and I'll see you next time.